when we play on. It's <laughs> overestimating their ability, I think, <laughs> and their movement. So Goddard in the back pocket. Counting down a quarter time. Graham back in the team tonight. Quality player goes short. Baker. Baker in two minds. Runs up to centre half back, goes long. The most forward couple. Jamison reaches over the top of Kazetsky. Joseph was taken high. Joseph runs around, pops it in short. Judd left it behind. Still Judd. Well, he's a hard man to bring down. Joseph runs to the wing. Penetrating kick. Garlick just working off his man and made it look easy. Both the uh, small forwards we saw already best before and now Jeff Garland taking tested mark off that both very technically correctly. And Yellen, they actually are quite yeah. good overhead. Yep. Now, he's gone back to take a shot and if I was him, I'd take that shot. This could be a real knee trembler for the Saints if he puts it through and he just misses. Worth a go there because suddenly out over 40 points in this opening term would have been something and the Saints would have been Copping a few questions. Still are. Short to Hay. So this is already the biggest opening quarter against the Saints since 2007. They've strangled teams in the last years. Cleans is a similar, but 33 to 22 St Kilda's, Carlton's way, I should say, in contested possession. They're just winning the footy. And Hayes to O'Halpin on the left, the Irishman. Well, he's missed... And this is where you feel like in the long-term interest of Carlton in this game, they've got to take advantage of Secura going through a very much a rocky patch as we speak. Well, what they're doing really well is they're impl implementing a zone from a kick-in and then they go to a really hard, strong man-on-man -man game. So when the St Kilda players look up, it's that sort of soft zone into a transition into man-on-man -man and uh, creating some real confusion with the uh, St Kilda ball carrier. Blake close to the boundary line. It's all about the pace of Carlton. Now, whether St Kilda can sort that out in their own minds, it's being in third in some cases. They haven't seen pace like this this season. It's out of bounds. But that last, sorry, Lee, that last bit of vision showed that really well, that they, uh, the one-on-one -on -one mentality of, uh, of Carlton. Working in front, Cruiser. Stolen away by Del Santo. Clever by Schneider. Knocked it down to Montagna. Montagna, good kick. Kaczynski just checked short of the ball. Jamison did well, got a fist in there, gets it back from Simpson, goes looking for Garlick, he got rid of Gilbert, getting back is Blake, he coughed it up, in goes Betts, he found the football amongst three, Baker got it though to Ray, again they come unglued, Murphy shoots at goal and just misses. Wow. We are seeing something here tonight. Yeah, there's nothing like that forward pressure. It, it, it infers pressure on the defence, yeah. even if there's no one within arm's reach. And Garlett and Betts and Yaron are providing that. Gee, the turnover total will be interesting against the Saints in this opening term. Good kick by Schneider to Ray. Thanks, Jordy. Jordy. So 12 scoring shots by the Blues here. 5 7 to 1 3. There's a wrestle going on with Dal Sando about 100 metres over away from the play. I'm not sure who he's got pinned down. It's Carazzo, I think. It's still got him pinned down. It's lucky not to be 50 metres there too, I think. Now they break clear. So Blake to Ray. Now Ray looks up. To kick out wide to King. It was an awkward kick and King and Jacobs and now the racehorses come in. Neil <laughs> with a high one to fall forward. Oh, and oh, missed by White. Grilt, Gibbs did really well. Grilt tries to fetch it back. And a ball up. It's going to be stating the obvious, but he did everything right there to take the ball. He made the, made the correct decision to come off his direct opponent, but just had to uh, obviously take the mark. Just lost concentration a fraction. Yeah. I think got a bit worried about it. I've got to take this mark 25 metres out. And the build-up like a scene from Jurassic Park. It's picked up by Hayes. Feeds it back. Gury falling to the ground. Did well. Stephen didn't have the football. No free kick. Jump took him down. Russell. Milne is outnumbered, bearing down, well done by Simpson, forces the error, and it's out of bounds. Dennis again pace, again pace. Yep. Well, you would think that's a free. Jacobs and King in from the side, Hayes. King knocked it back, only as far as Jacobs, who kicks it towards the outer side. Here comes Geary, first to arrive. 
Get some time. That's been rare. Graham didn't get the same time. Hayes dragged off it. Free kick to Hayes. Tackled high to Graham, who's a long kick. Sends it down towards full forward. Needs a fist. Forthcoming from Thornton. Arriving quickly, Russell. Then he lost it. Goes towards Scotland. Picked up by Schneider. And Schneider snaps a goal. Good opportunity, Skull, and they're prepared to kick the ball in long. St Kilda, no doubt about that, Graham just drove it in, and really, uh, I guess, it was Russell, I think, who yeah. came through. Um, um, who was probably going in a better direction, but uh, both players uh, wanted the footy. In that situation, it's always tough for the player, because if he'd taken on the tackle, he would have been thinking, perhaps I'm going to get pinged for a free kick directly in front of goal. Might have been better to take the hit and, uh, and let the umpire make the call. To see uh, Jordan Russell there, just spill the ball out. It's obviously very dangerous in front of in front of goal. Um, Does probably would have been better at locking it up. You can get a quick kick 20 metres out. Yeah, you might kick a goal. That's yep. the one thing about driving it to that dangerous area, 15, 20 metres out. Carlton with the previous four scores all behind. And Schneider kicked five on Monday Night Footy last year, which is an equal career high. That was against Collingwood. So the Saints have done well here. They're back to 22 points. That's manageable after Carlton really blew them away for a while. Clark's handball was a tough one for McWalter. Robbed by Lucas and brought down by Ray. Forcing forward. Courageous mark by Scotland. Simpson's been important here. O'Halpin. Well played by Fisher against Hulahan. And now Baker. Good kick to Gwilt. Wanted to use Fisher's oh. run. He's going to use him now. 50-50 contest, you think. Fisher, who kicked the winner last week. Good-looking kick. And for the... No touched. It was Ooh. going home. He got the winner against the Bulldogs. We heard uh, Mark Riley, the midfield coach, talk about broken tackles. The effective yep. tackles are a poor one there by That's Johnson. He's on a tear, Sam Fisher. This is one of, the, one of the things we uh, we take. We know the late tackles there in the stats book, but missed tackles, tackles are just as critical. All the clubs take them, but uh, we don't really get them in the normal stats packages. Yaron, not 15. The umpire, perfect measuring stick there. The width of the posts around the boundary. It bounces and runs away from White and goes out of bounds. So, just seconds out from quarter time. Terrific start by the Blues. But, as we've said, right off the Saints at your peril. King, Hayes has really got oh, cracking. Man, free off the ball. Ah. Against Stephen King. Against you. Against you. It's a quarter time. Carton getting a free. They won't bother taking that. And they lead 5-7-37 to the Saints 2-4-16. Poor, pressure was poor, and aggression was very poor. Who made a slam tackle for us? Um, whereas the week before, we had plenty. And this is why we really treasure lock-ins. We're better than this, but have a look at that. There's no extra numbers here, guys. Eddie passed the event, missed. 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 Did we have a chance to stop it there? And we did seven days earlier. We really did. Get back on that wagon straight away. Mark Riley making the point right there. We can see the Saints who trail by 21 points at quarter time on Monday Night Football. Nick Revolt is with me. And Nick, we knew coming in Carlton are quick, but gee whiz. Yeah, they've certainly uh, shown some of our guys up for league speed, absolutely. I think the point that uh, the, the, the uh, coach was making there about tackling, they've really carried out, I think, 14 Carlton players to eight St Kilda have laid a tackle, and they're, they're right on top in that area. No, that's an amazing figure. Eight St Kilda players have laid a tackle in that first term. Yeah, clearly, and it's a, it's a big focus for all teams, just like contested ball. Carlton were well on top in winning the ball and, and stripping it off the opposition. One player we highlighted coming into the game was Lenny Hayes. No surprise, late in that quarter, he started to dig it out for you. Yeah, absolutely. He's a superb leader. I think he had 11 possessions. Six of those were contested. 
contested, and four tackles as well. So he's really leading the way and keeping us in it at the moment. We'll see you back at half time. Let's go down now to Tim Watson. Well, Lenny Hayes has been very productive, been keeping a very close eye though on Chris Juddy in that first quarter. He hasn't had a clearance, Juddy. He's been a good player, but this is what they've been doing to him around the stop.